Hello, welcome back to Oracle DBA tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to discuss about how do we start a database. And as you see last class that uh, we have already uh, installed a Oracle database, so un installed an Oracle database on Amazon EC2. And uh, in this, uh, like now all we configured the database and then we are all ready to see like, you know, what's going on not to, to use that database so in this uh, tutorial we're going to see how do you how do we start up the database so let's understand what is the startup uh, database process so startup process involved three steps so first step is called instance creation is called instance creation and then the second step is called mount and the third step is called open so in the instant creation what happens is that Oracle, uh, like Oracle is going to read the parameter file and from that parameter file it will find out how much is the memory allocation uh, is for the system global area and then it will allocate those memory structure so that means instance creation the following things will happen that memory structure will be allocated memory structure allocated based on what is the size in the parameter file and second one is going to happen is the background processes is going to be created. Background processes will be created. Okay. And then in the mount uh, stage, what's going to happen is that the instance is going to read the control file. Okay, because uh, in instance will read the control file and locate where are those data files are, uh, where are the data files and the redo log files. And then the second thing is going to happen is that locate data file and redo files. Okay, and then in the open stage, actually, uh, what is going to do is going to open the data files and read to log files so it will open the data files and read to log files so that database is operational right now and there are couple of optional steps can happen and those optional steps are so optional steps so if your database has previously shut down abruptly or you know or the or something really not shut down normally then what is going to do it can do an instance recovery Okay. And then if you have any in doubt transaction, then there is a process called RECO. The RECO process is going to recover those in doubt transactions. Okay. So essentially, uh, the database startup is involved three steps, instance creation, mount, and then open. And once this open, open page is completed properly, then the database is operational and ready to be used. So now let's take some uh, hands-on example. So whenever you do, like you know, the first thing that uh, you know I have to in order to start my database, I need to connect using a privileged user like Sys as SysDBA. Okay. So whoever has SysDBA or Sys upper privileges, those users can only start up and shut down the database. So therefore, the first thing is that I'm going to connect to my, you know, so this is the database that I have in Amazon EC2 cloud and I'm going to connect using SQL plus sys as sysdba. My password is, okay. So now I'm connected to the database, okay. So connected to the Oracle server. And the first thing is that I'm going to show you the first command is to start up. So there is a command called start up. So if I hit this command, then it is going to read from the default parameter file. 
and in this case default parameter file is determined by sp file or server p file and in my sp file i have i have i must have specified what is the size of sga what are the number of db writer is going to start and what are the database name and so on so what is going to happen is that when i when I run this command startup, startup is going to automatically look at the SP file and then figure out what are the parameters is required. And then in this case, if I do startup, so the first thing is that uh, the Oracle instance is started. So this is what the command it you know what the uh, you know message is giving so that means it's already started the uh, started the instance that means it has allocated this amount of memory so and also it puts like you know how much memory is allocated to what so basically it looks like total source system global area is about 503 uh, megabyte so if you, if i want to just re recap so this is your share sga and sga consists of different share pool Read to read to buffer, buffer cache, and so on. So basically, what is what what this thing is saying that the total SGA size is 5003 MB, and then is saying that the database buffer is 314 MB. So like I said, this buffer cache is 314, and then it's saying that read to buffer is 20 um, 29 MB. So read to buffer is 29 MB, and then we have the variable size like you now those you know large pool java pool and so on that is coming up 184 megabyte and then it's saying that the fixed size so that fixed sga size is 125 and after that you know after this instance is created you can also go on and, and see like there must be some processes like smon pmon all these processes are already started and then working and now is in in the process of mounting the database okay so startup command is going to first is going to create instance which is already done in our case and now it's mounting so mounting looks like taking some time now and we will see like you know, why I, I it normally should be should be done by this time maybe something is going wrong here in my my database but anyway like you know we just wait for some time oh okay i think it's already mounted and, and opened uh, i just have to hit and enter okay so create instance and then it mount so the mount means it's read the control file and then it has open so if you see in your uh, in in this uh, you know in the command line the first thing that is giving me all the this instant creation and this step is database mounted and database open so now database is opened and then ready to uh, ready for operational however in certain cases what you're going to do we are going to start up so basically if you, if you understand the step the steps like this so let's say this is this is the shutdown means nothing is going on and then this is the mount that means in the you know here instance is created and then this is open so from this phase to this phase we open the database okay so you know zero nothing is happening to mount to open and here like you know database is all started and open so by giving the startup command what we can do we can we can just do everything at once but it is also necessary and also it's useful in certain cases that we want to just go on and stay in this position okay we just start the database we just start the instance we do not start we do, we do not open the database we do not mount and so on so in that case what you can do you can uh, let me first shut down this database so that uh, i can show you the other examples okay so while this database shut down so let's uh, discuss some, some important thing so basically what i'm saying is that i i can instead of going from shutdown to open i can go into intermediate state that means the first thing that I'm going to show you, I'm going to start up the database in no mount. That means I'm just going to create the instance. So just to create the instance, the command is start up no mount. Okay. So it looks like still this uh, shutdown is going on. So we'll just wait some time. So in start up no mount, what I'm going to do, I'm going to from shutdown stage, I'm going to go to the mount state. 
okay and why we do startup no mount we need to modify the control file because remember in the mount state like once we mount then only we can read the then we read the control file so before we read the control file if you want to modify certain things then we can modify the control file by starting the database in no mount so okay so looks like so let's see start up okay so it's all done so like if you compare you know in the previous case we are seeing database mounted the, the message here is that we have just only created the uh, sga and by background processes that means we just created the instance and by using startup no mount command we can go to here so remember at this point database is not mounted then what i can do i can mount by using this command called alter database mount so so what effectively i'm doing right now by doing this alter database mount i'm reading the control file and i'm locating the uh, uh, you know data files and redo log files so i have not yet opened anything so what i can do here in you know once that once the database is mounted i can go on and rename the data files and i can do enable or disable the archive redo log file okay then in or in in the mount stage i can do a full database recovery full db recovery okay so that is the reason why we do to alter database mount basically we we, we arrive in this position we we mounted the database and by mounting the database we can do all these operations all right then the last one is alter database open so when you do alter database open so actually so let's do that So database is opened that means the data files is now the data files are you know you can read and in in the open uh, open db what you do is that the the the, the, the important thing is that in the, in the open database is that the database is all open right now and then we can use them and other things that you can do you can also open the database in a restrict mode so by opening the database in restrict mode, only the restricted user like SysDBA or Sys or system can log in, whereas uh, other normal users will not be able to log in. And DBAs usually open the database in restrict mode to perform some administration activities. And the last one is you can start the alter database using read only. So in that case, there are no you know insert all these things may not work. But still, you can just read. You can you can run a select statement and so on. So this is all about database startup, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And in the next tutorial, we are going to explain about shutting down the database.